is this it? That was my thought when it comes to sex. Is this what people's killing themselves about? Because I don't get it. Yes, sex felt nice, but... And so, today I am going to talk about my orgasm story. Hi, my name is Veroni Anderson and I help women claim their sexuality so that they could have mind-blowing sex and unleash their inner desire. So I want you to stick around because I have some juicy details for you, especially for people who haven't experienced an orgasm. But before I jump into my story, please make sure you download my erratic ecstasy meditation because it will help you to get juicy, juicified. So download, it's going to be in the comment. As a young girl starting out, of course, I was scared the first time when I was having sex. I was a novice. I had no idea what I was doing. So I definitely take the lead of my boyfriends. But I used to wonder what was the big deal was when it comes to sex because I just didn't get it. Of course, it felt nice, right? The kissing, the touching. I felt the sensation. But that big orgasm, actually, I don't, didn't even know what orgasm is. What is this thing that they're talking about? Well, they didn't call it orgasm. They call it cum, this big cum that everybody was talking about, right? Sex would just stop, of course, when my boyfriend had an arm, they come. And they used to look at me and they used to be like, did you come too? And I'm like, yeah, I come. But I had no idea what cum was. I don't I have no idea what it was supposed to be like. I lie because I have never experienced it. Nobody has ever talked to me about it. I, I didn't know what it is. I didn't know what it feels like. So I think that that sensation that I was feeling when we were having sex, that sensation was it, right? And of course, you know, your boyfriend think that once your vagina is juicy, that have any form of liquid then that you come and oh well I just knew that I didn't feel satisfied after I have sex right you know like how your boyfriend would fall asleep and they're tired and they're all happy yeah, I didn't have that happy feeling it felt like something was was missing um, and you know, there was nobody who you could talk about with it. You could talk about with your mom, you can talk about with your sister, you can talk about your auntie. Nobody wanted to talk about it um, with you. And when I, I talked to some people about it, they're like, nothing. They didn't have anything to say. But of course, <laughs> I was so curious. And it went on like that. And I think I changed boyfriend, right? And I thought that. It would change but the same thing it felt nice the kissing felt nice mm, they came and nothing I felt like something was missing I felt like you know we were having sex and the sensation was good and I felt like I'm feeling something but I just couldn't get over that edge that edge I couldn't get over it so um, I think I started to like play around think maybe I started to like play around with myself I don't know I was just feeling unsatisfied and I feel like I was just constantly horny I think that I constantly have sex and this was in my younger years in my I think 19 or 20 so one day I was in the shower and that bathroom that I have had a, a shower a long shower hose and I was like okay maybe I could use that shower hose feeling horny didn't have a boyfriend right so I put the shower hose like I think they have like different gauge or speed where the water could come out the shower hose and I remember I put it on my vagina I think I put it on my clit and oh my god the sensation was so extreme and I remember that my leg was shaking like this they were like shaking my whole body was like shaking uncontrollable and I couldn't take it I remember I had to like stop and I took a break right and then I tried to put the hose on it again and just uh, uncontrollable like shake like till I think my body stiffened up 
right? And I just didn't know what to do. So I, I, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take the feeling. It was so intense. So I put the, I stopped. But that sparked my damn interest because I have never felt a sensation like that before. So the next day, I decided to go at it again, right? So I went at it again with the shower house. I was freaking determined because I want that feeling. I want that sensation again. So I went back in and used the shower head, still shaking, but I think I, um, I don't know, maybe I relax or take a breath or something, but I put the shower hose and the, the, the sensation and I finally went over the hill. I went over the hill and I remember, oh my God, I collapsed and I think I screamed. I screamed and I collapsed. And all I knew is that I could just turn off a shower and I crawl on my hands and knees and went into my bed just like that because the, the feeling, the sensation, it was like nothing I could feel. It was like a buildup in my genital area, right? Like this sweet sensation of build up and then the build up, I could feel it. And then it was just like, and then bust, <laughs> bust. And so I crawl into my bed because I was so weak, sweat with water, all of that. And I went to sleep and I was like, oh my freaking God, that is an orgasm. I just had my first orgasm and I think I was 21 or 22. After having sex for a while, I experienced my first orgasm. Heaven on earth. So you know, after that, I was totally addicted. And of course, I went into the shower many times and used the shower hose. But what that did for me, right, is that now I have an idea what orgasm felt like, or clitoral orgasm felt like. And I was hooked. Because when you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. And when you know, you do better, right? You know, that's my story and how it all started. Please let me know if you identify with what I'm saying, if you have the same story, if you could only have clit or orgasm, just let me know if this resonates with you because I know a lot of people are still struggling with orgasm, right? So that is my story.